up guys, it's MKC Technology here, also known as MKC Gaming. In this video, I'm going to be doing an app review on Hotspot Shield. I really hope you guys enjoy this video, but before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Like for more, like for more videos, comment down below on what you think about this video, but try not to put any bad comments. With that being said, let's get on with this app review. Now, Hotspot Shield is an app that I use in school all the time whenever I can't access the internet or download movies or videos off a of showbox uh, but basically right now I do not have internet at my house so what I will be doing is uploading my videos at school so with that being said I actually get started with this app review and as you see on um, my status bar I don't have Wi-Fi and I'm using my 4G for most of the stuff that I need to use and my 4G is really slow so I have I download all my apps and games over 4G if the game and app is too sm is small in megabytes but basically hotspot shield can be used over Wi-Fi and it can be used over 4G if you go into the settings and set it to be used over 4G hotspot shield does come does take a while to pop up after you clicked it so there it is the screen is now going black and it, it, the, a hotspot shield is not opening now I do have the free version in order to unlock the uh, paid version you will have to pay a certain amount per month and, uh, but the upside to this is that there are certain VPNs for different countries uh, I think you have to pay for some of them but um, for now I'm using the United States one basically if you're in the United States um, this well this has happened to me all the time every time I use a VPN but basically if you're living if you're living in the United States and you use a VPN from a different country let's say let's say I want to use a VPN from China every time I use a VPN from a different for a different country and I'm downloading a movie that movie comes in a different language for some reason, I don't know why. Um, I actually have to move this right over here. So, if you wanted to use a VPN over 4G, basically you're gonna you're gonna go into network, and then you're gonna turn on mobile data networks and secure Wi-Fi. Well, you don't have to turn on secured Wi-Fi, but um, if you want, you can turn on secured Wi-Fi. Now. If you don't know what VPN stands for, VPN stands for Virtual Protection Services. Now, if you are, let's say, a hacker and you want to secure your uh, secure your IP address and everything, then you would use a Tor browser or a VPN. Now, a VPN is something. A VPN is something that everyone should use if you want to get internet access over a over Wi-Fi like say at a college or at school so yeah that's basically what I gotta say about that part but uh, let's see if I can actually use the VPN over 4G right now um the free version does come with ads for some reason but if you there we go if you just double click once or twice it should just exit out of the ad itself let's see if this thing will pop back up again there we go uh, close now for some phone well this app is not compatible for IPv6 connections which is over 4G let's see if it's, yeah we detected that your network is connected over IPv6 which like I said is over any 4G network if you're using a cellular cellular or tablet device like an iPad or Android device or whatnot now in this app you can also set the apps that you want to use for VPN so I have it set for Netflix uh, I'm gonna set it for YouTube Hangouts, Google Chrome, Google Play, Google Drive, Gmail, Kick, Showbox, um, Instagram, my internet, 
Google Plus, Device Manager, Home, uh, what else? Remote Desktop Studio, uTorrent, Xbox, News, Google Opinion, and oh, here we go, Coparts. Now, if you don't know what Copart is, Coparts is, I did an app review on that, so I might put a link in the description box down below for that video. And from here, all you have to do is just click the back button and all the apps that you set are right there. Um, now, they won't be in alphabetical order. If you want them in alphabetical order, then you're going to have to do that manually. There's no button or anything to set it from uh, alphabetical order. Now, I hope there will be an update for you to be able to connect to a VPN over 4G. Uh, let's go into general settings. Now, this is something that's really cool. I uh, just noticed this just now uh, as I went into the settings. Uh, turn off VPN while the device is asleep. Now, this basically means if you lock your device, the VPN will turn off. It will not quit itself. It will just turn off. Now, if you want to quit uh, Hotspot VPN, what you have to do is just disconnect from the VPN by opening the app and clicking on this button right here to disconnect from the VPN, and then go d oh, click on the three bars right here, and then click quit, and then click OK to quit Hotspot VPN. Now, if you just exit out the app and then close it by clicking, oops, sorry, I almost slipped out my hand by clicking on the little menu button right here like that lets you pop pull these up to close apps it will not close the app you have to do it by opening up the app itself and closing the app yeah well I'm sorry about the camera we're shaking all the time I'm sorry about that but yeah that's all I have to say right now for this app it's a really good app to use the only downside is, the downside is the Ads. I wish there weren't any ads, but I guess you gotta pay for uh, pay for the full version in order to, to get rid of the ads. But yeah, that's all I gotta say about this app for right now. I don't know if I'm gonna be making any videos about this in the future. I might do another one. I might do and do another one after this video. Um, but yeah, um, that'll be it for today, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.